Hello, thank you for joining me. So in this video, I'd like to continue on. This is our video two in our series and we're going to make modifications to the pressure plate, then creating a pressure vessel and then putting those together into an assembly. So let's continue on with this. What we've done is we created that uh, bottom lip. And what we'd like to do to that lip is take a cut out of that lip that goes half the distance between the thickness here and it goes up nine millimeters, which is uh, the next item in the list on the website if you see that. So what it says is cut a nesting surface on the inside of the lip at half the 8mm distance and cut to 9mm in depth, similar to the Lesson 2 Assemblies tutorial. So if you go to SolidWorks and go through the tutorial in regard to Lesson 2 Assemblies, it shows you how to do that. What you do is you create a base feature like this pressure plate, then you create something that's in the background of that feature and uh, eventually put those two items together into an assembly, which is what we're going to be doing here. So let's uh, do that. So I'm going to show you a, a little bit of a variation on uh, the um, convert entities. So if you go to sketch, go to sketch. It's asking for a plane, so we're going to click on that plane. And by doing it in that uh, order, now that we've selected that plane, the plane is no longer blue. So we go into convert entities, it doesn't know what to convert right now. We haven't selected anything. So that is a, a way to uh, get around of uh, if you selected it first, it remains blue. When you go to convert any of these, you have something in there that you really don't want. So now we have a little bit more control, and I think it's a, a two or one or two steps less than it would be otherwise. So now we have this blue window in here. We're going to click on this edge and go to green check mark, and now we have that edge. Here's our on edge uh, sketch relation, as we uh, described earlier, and we're going to get out of convert entities and go to offset entities. And instead of 8 millimeters, we're going to make it half of that. We're going to make that 4. Click on this line, goes to the outside, green check mark. We're as right as rain with that. So go to features, extrude cut. And we're going to go up 9 millimeters instead of the 15 millimeters. We don't want to go up all the way, but the desire here is to try to create some sort of lip in this so that then when we put a uh, threaded uh, surface on that with our cosmetic thread it kind of looks like it's going to be threaded inside uh, the threaded feature of our pressure vessel when we get there. So yeah, green check mark and makes that cut. Oop, that doesn't look right. Let's go ahead and uh, edit that and see what we went wrong. So instead of 15 millimeters, we want to make that 9. We, we don't want to cut all the way through. So there we go, that looks a little bit better. Now let's do this. Let's borrow that name bottom left go to cut extrude 2, we're going to call this bottom lip cut. So make sure you have that. I'm going to be looking for that when I grade you next week. It's not on the website. So if you don't look at the videos, you're going to get that wrong. Okay, let's just scroll this down just a little bit and see what it looks like. We go all the way down to the fillet. You notice that the fillet feature, which used to be up here, now is still here down here. If you put your fillets in the right place and in, in the right order when you put this together, and it should come together. If not, you're going to have to redefine that edge down here for that fillet. So let me go ahead and back that up again. Back to our bottom lip cup, cut. And let's go ahead and put in our uh, final uh, bulleted item for this video. Now it is called uh, applying a cosmetic thread. We're going to do that to the inner surface using the none for the standard, 150 millimeters for the major diameter, and through wall. And then we're going to label through wall, I should say, and label the thread machine thread. So, regarding the 150 millimeters for the major diameter, remember the diameter of our jar lid here, our pressure plate lid, is going to, is 155 millimeters, but when you talk about the major diameter in regard to a threaded, uh, in regard to a cosmetic thread, what that means is it uh, is that uh, hidden line circle that represents the extent of the thread cuts on the inside there. And that's part of the annotation feature, is it uh, not only shows you an image of what appears to be threads on the surface, but also shows you uh, in uh, various views hidden lines that show you the extent of the threading that goes on. So enough set here. If you go to insert, um, I'm sorry. Yep, we're going to go to insert annotations. Apologize for that. Go to cosmetic thread. Let's just go through our thread settings. It says here uh, to the inner surface. We're going to go ahead and select that here in just a minute. But we're going to choose none for the standard, which we have down here. 150 millimeters for the major diameter and from here it's going to be through through all and the thread call out is going to be machine thread so we're going to type in uh, machine thread make sure it's all capitals because this is going to appear on our drawing conceivably in the future so machine threads and now we're going to select that surface so we're going to click on that surface 
and uh, yeah, it didn't remember what we put in there, so now we got to do it again. So our standard's got to be none. 150 millimeters for our major diameter, that's important, you want to make sure you do that. And then through, we want to make sure it's through all, and then we're going to call that machine prints. Oh, my poor typer. And then green check mark. And now you see that hidden line which defines or represents the major diameter. The threads are going to be cut into that lid, but we don't see the threads themselves. So remember how to do that? Yeah, we want to go to document properties by going to our options button up here on our menu pull down. Go to the, uh, display, or I'm sorry, document properties. Go to detailing and make sure you have checked over here shaded cosmetic threads. If you don't have it checked over here, make sure you have your cosmetic threads clicked over here. So check mark there, check mark on the other side, go to OK. And that's what you should see. So if we pull that all the way down just to see everything, everything should fall in place. And we're going to make additional modifications to this pressure plate here in the next few videos.